Okay, so these are my lip products over here in this like clear acrylic container. I got this from Marshalls and it was super cheap. It was like 15 bucks and it came with both the top and the bottom. So let's just go ahead and start looking at the stuff that I have in here. So back here I have the Etude House Dreaming Swan lipsticks. I have them back here because they actually won't fit in these like little designated square areas. Like they're too fat so they won't fit in there, so I have to keep them in the back there. But that's okay. Um, let's see what else I got out there. I have the Global Eco Red G-Dragon lipstick. This is really pretty red color. It's actually kind of a more like orange red, if you guys can tell. Lighting might be a little off because obviously you could tell I'm filming during the day, so it's bright outside. And then I've got my lights um, behind me, so they're kind of counteracting each other. So sorry if the lighting is a little off, but you guys get the gist, right? This is an also really pretty Etude House lipstick. My friend also got this for me from China and it's an awesome red color. Look how pretty that is. And it has like the little gem design. I just really like that lipstick and I'm really excited she got that for me. Come back, lid. Let me put you back on. Okay. Ah, my hands are already getting tired. How do people do this? So right here is one of the Holika Holika Heartful Silky Lipsticks. I'm trying this out. This is the first one I've tried of these heart-shaped lipsticks from Holocolica, but isn't that so cute? I believe it's kind of like a semi-matte finish, so it's not super glossy, but it's not super matte. These are all MAC lipsticks. I really like MAC lipsticks, obviously. These two are my easily my favorite, and which is kind of sad because they're both very similar colors. This is in Fast Play, I believe. Yeah, Fast Play. This has been long standing one of my favorite lipstick colors from MAC and it's just a nice mauve kind of nude color and for me this looks really natural and it's a very nice everyday color and I've gotten a couple different tubes of that so that's always been one of my favorites. And this one here as well is another one of my favorites and it is in Spirit. <laughs> it's actually kind of a similar color but this one um, you can't tell obviously because my lighting's off like I said but it's more brown, more of a brown mauve, so I like mixing that with pink and it makes a really pretty color. Oh, this one's cool too. This is from the Hello Kitty line a long time ago and they had it. I know you guys make, you shouldn't have makeup that long, but I kind of don't really use it anymore. I just keep it because I think the packaging is so cute, but the color in this is really pretty and it's called Big Bow. I have all the pony lipsticks. If you want to see the colors and swatches, I do have a video out of that so you could see it on my lips and what they look like and my thoughts on that. Over here, in the back here, I have more cylindrical products. Um, a lip tint, another lip crayon. This is my favorite lip tint of all time. And it's from Skin Food and is the Tomato Cool Jelly Tint. And it's in shade number two, I believe. I think I rubbed the color off the back, but. As you can see, I've used a decent amount of this, and it's just awesome. I can't wait to see if they have more shades when I go back to Korea. Um, another one of my favorite tints, I like these fresh cherry tints from Etude House. They're very natural and easy to use and not too high maintenance. Um, I just have a couple other ones. Um, I like these, what are these called? The colorful lips or whatever they're called. <laughs> believe I'm, I do beauty videos, would you, by how I'm describing these, but I'm just a little tired today. Um, I like this Peri Para Paris, Peri's ink. Um, smells really good too. This one smells really good too, um, and it is a skin food tint juice, and this is in the shade 6. In, want to hear me read English? I mean, <laughs> read English. <laughs> read Korean. It is in Coral berry, coral berry, coral berry. So like coral berry, get it? Coral berry. I don't know why they call that coral berry. What do berries have anything to do with this? Yeah, well, I like this lipstick a lot. This is the Etude House, Etude House. Sorry guys, I know you guys hate it when I call it that. Um, Etoinette lipstick. And it's this really, really, really pretty pink color. And it has some glitter in it. It's just really pretty. And look at the packaging. Isn't it so nice? That's the kind of lipstick I'll keep like after the lipstick is gone, which is like kind of sad to say. This is another one of my favorite. Oh, I'm sorry. I should probably tell you the shade of this, right? 
I believe this is in shade JPK004. And this one's in JPK002. This is another one. I love these Etude House, my, I can't get it open, um, My Jelly Lip Talk lipsticks. They're just really balmy and super comfortable to wear and really low maintenance. Kind of one of those products that you don't have to worry too much about how it looks or how it applies. It just does a good job every single time. So I like that. And then I just have a couple of these like little baby ColourPop lip tints in the front. Now in this top drawer here, I have nothing, which sounds crazy, but I just didn't really have anything to put in there, so I just don't have anything in there. <laughs> the second drawer, I have some of my favorite, oops, can't even see. These are like lip products, just random lip products. Um, some lipsticks, these are Revlon lipsticks. I really like Revlon lipsticks. I know you guys probably don't believe that I use um, like American brands, but I really do, I don't use just purely Korean brands. I just talk about them a lot because you don't really find a lot of information about Korean brands that are English speaking online, so I try my best to help you guys out. This is one of my favorite lipsticks from uh, Revlon and it is in Demure. And it's just like the perfect nude color for me. I think I've talked about that in like one of my older videos. If you guys are kind of wanting a dupe for like this fast play lipstick, which is my favorite MAC lipstick. It's actually this Maybelline one here in Sassy Mauve. <laughs> oh, Revlon. Did I just call you Maybelline? I don't know. And if you can see the similarities between the two, there's the Revlon one, and here's the MAC one. So yeah, they're pretty dang similar, but I don't know. It's just not quite there yet, so I still do prefer that MAC one, but if you're just wanting to try out that shade family, you could definitely use that one to try it out. Just some lip liners back there. I like lip liners sometimes. This is awesome. This is from Topshop and it's a lipstick that is really pretty. My sister got it for me for Christmas and it's just this really, really pretty cranberry color and it looks really nice during the holidays and fall and it's in shade Trigger. So I like that. I feel like I'm talking about my lipsticks way more than I talked about. Um, like my other makeup and just some tart lip, lips, lip glosses. And then, last but not least in this bottom drawer, I've just got some of these curious lip stains. I've talked about these before. They're, they're basically a dupe of the Berry Somme lip tint pack, but these are actually all natural ingredients or natural products. So as you can see here, it says natural lip tattoo. Um, just a bunch of different shades of those. And then just some of these Revlon lip balms. I like this one in, what color is this? Shameless, which is a nice purple color. If you see me wearing purple lipstick, like dark, dark purple lipstick, I'm most likely wearing this. It's like totally purple. And this is one of my favorite reds, and it's from Revlon. I guess as far as um, lip products go in the United States, Revlon makes my favorite. And as far as lip products in Korea, I'd say Etude House makes my favorite. So I hope that answered your question as to how much makeup I have, or how I organize it, or what my makeup collection looks like. Woo, I feel like I'm out of breath. I feel like I did a lot of talking. I'm not used to talking that much in a video. And um, yeah, <laughs> sorry if this video is like so all over the place. I wanted to do it kind of vlog style, so I'm not planning on editing this a ton. Um, so we're just gonna see how this goes and if you guys like this kind of format of video, or if you really don't mind, or whatever, but yeah, I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm probably gonna do a skincare collection video coming up because I have a lot of skincare, but comment down below if you guys even want me to do that. I don't even know if you guys would wanna see that um, and like this video and subscribe just to let me know, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.